In the long history of mankind, there has never been a war which has demanded such complex tactics and so many sophisticated weapons as the war in Vietnam. He couldn't have asked for a better father. There's no way I could have had a better father in the world than Charles Shrey, without a doubt. Daddy taught at Burbank, and then he taught night school at San Antonio College, and during the summer, he would teach summer school with SAISD. He just, he just loved teaching, and he, and he loved it when the students appreciated his teaching and came back with input in the American history is what he taught a Burbank, and they would come back with uh, stuff for him, for his questions and all. Well, this is the box. A little worse for wear, but this thing's probably older than I am, I'm not sure. But this is the letters that, the box that he kept, the letters from Vietnam in. And on the outside of his box, he put letters from my students who went to Vietnam. Not one was killed. I'm gonna imagine there's over 30 letters in here, maybe less. Dad had uh, the letters, and when he would get a letter from one of the boys, and he would read it to the class, and read the letters, from all the letters from Vietnam, he read to his classes. They just loved daddy. They were, they thought, I mean, all the students that I went into just raved about him, what a great teacher he was. They wished all their teachers were like him. I think it was just, they, they wrote him out of respect a lot because uh, everybody, they liked him, yeah, but, and, and you hear a lot of them at the deal told us how much they respected daddy because of how he taught that, you know, he was, he was a great person and all, so, you know. But most of them were uh, letters about, uh, you know, I, I miss your teaching, I was being in your school, I wish I was with you instead of here, which I can imagine that too. And uh, it, they, were, they were warm letters and some of them were just telling him what was happening over there in Vietnam. And uh, some of them you sit there, you cry eyeball down about it, and some of them you just laugh. It was hell being there. I think it's great we're here to honor the soldiers of Vietnam because my opinion on a lot of other people's too is they were not treated very well when they came back. And this way we can honor them and I also want to honor my father. So at this time, I'm gonna ask my daughter, Ooh, this is gonna be tough, to present these letters from your father back to my father. And in the words of a Marine, simplify. It's just a sign because I know when I saw the message from her on social media, I was a little difficult, you know. Um, yeah. Still dealing with his passing and, you know, um, I just feel like he's here. He brought y'all to us. I don't know too much on why he wrote his teacher, but 
it doesn't strike me as odd. I remember he was telling me in school, I guess it was this teacher, Mr. Trade. Mr. Trade. Yeah, he, uh, he would tell me like people, some, some people won't be paying attention in class. So what he'll do, my dad will just start an argument contradicting what Mr. Schrade said, just to get people to listen into the, the, the debate. And I'll tell you, you know, my, uh, the, Mr. Schrade called my dad to the side and uh, after, after the class and my dad, he asked my dad, why do you keep doing this? He's all like, oh, I know, I'm just getting people to, to listen to, to what's going on. Are y'all gonna get with the rest of the family and show them the letters? That they'll like that, I hope. I'm Nobody gonna, believes that. Hey, I'm gonna say 80s or 90s because the hair is still brown and that dress looks. <laughs> okay. I would tell you all that my dad is very proud of you. Uh, he was excited when he got a letter from you. He, uh, he loved it. 